how would you describe just the dynamic between you two? Yeah, I mean, we've been brothers, but we've been best friends ever ever since I can remember. I mean, moving down to, to California was a big step for us, but the um, fact that we had each other kind of grew our bond, grew our friendship, and yeah, been with each other every step of the way. Like you said, ever, ever since we can remember, we just remember whether it's in our basement or on the ice, we just, we always have battles, we always create competition, and um, here and there there's some fights, but um, yeah. it's all in good fun, it's all out of um, love, so. What's the, uh, what's the battle in the basement? Yeah, we used to, we used to have a lot of, um, a lot of rivalry matchups, um, you know, mostly involving um, kind of NHL teams and pretending to be NHL teams and one guy would take it too far um, and we were always we were always so competitive that um, yeah we'd we'd end up having a lot of having a lot of battles come out of that and a lot of uh, a lot of crying to mom <laughs> who was doing the crying this guy oh yeah <laughs> how much have you two leaned on each other through the course of this with all the the hype you've had surrounding like draft status and just the, the tournament play, trophy season, all of the above. I mean, like to get through this all and to get to this point. I mean, how much were you leaning on each other throughout this entire year? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely helped having both of us here, just being able to kind of rely on each other when stuff gets a little much, just with school and um, hockey and all the expectations and stuff. But um, obviously, having him here and um, the great group we have. Um, it's made it really easy, I think, for both of us for different reasons. What would it mean, you know, to bring home a championship together for the for the family legacy? Yeah, I mean, it it mean a lot to us, um, being able to accomplish something like that together on the same team. But um, also just like how special it is in general, just um, for the program, um, for everyone involved, it'd be. A pretty special accomplishment and um, something that we'd never forget. How much do you uh, love the guy sitting next to you? <sighs> sometimes a lot, sometimes not a lot. I guess <laughs> is the easiest way to put it. How about you? <laughs> yeah, kind of the same thing. <laughs> Seems like you guys have a uh, dynamic that sticks out right off the bat. I mean, you guys give each other some some stuff, huh? Back and forth. Yeah, it's been uh, since we were little. We have our, our middle brother Aiden too. It's the three of us. No matter what we're doing, we're always Poking some fun at the other guys, um, always competing, always, always making fun of each other. So it's it's pretty fun dynamic. How uh, how far back does your your hockey history go together? Uh, we've never actually played together until this year, but uh, you know I've always grown up going to the rink and watching him. So um, you know, grateful that we got to play together this year. No, no, like backyard hockey or anything like that. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I wasn't. Uh, I don't know. I wasn't uh, physically there yet when I played with him in the backyard rink, though. So we used him as the checking dummy into the snow banks. Is what <laughs> is what is what that was. But it was like that, huh? Yeah, yeah. You weren't laughing there when he was talking about that. No, no. no. <laughs> How much wisdom are you trying to impart in the young man? I I, I kind of try to let him be himself. Um, obviously, coming as a, a freshman, um, you're trying trying to find your way. Um, I'm here for whatever question questions he has um, beginning of the year like where to do laundry in his building was a big one um, but no I think just little things like on the ice trying to help him out um, he's come a long way this year and um, done a very good job asking questions when he when he does need help um, I think that's one of the best part about him is is knowing when to ask questions when you need help and and learning from it um, but I don't think I try to push and anything onto him. I, I try to let him be himself as much as possible and, and grow into this environment um, that, that fits best for him. What, the, just seeing him as the, the captain and everything, I mean, what, what, what was the biggest lesson you've learned from him along the way here this year? Um, it's a tough one. I don't know if I could choose just one, but um, I think him being the captain has been awesome for me. and. I think he's helped, you know, we have a big freshman class, so I think he's helped all of us just uh, a bunch make the transition from juniors to college really smooth for us, and so I have uh, a bunch of the older guys. Um, I don't know if I could pick one lesson, but uh, there's been a bunch this year. I've learned a ton, so. So he's kind of like the big brother of the group? 
Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. I think the, like I said, the older guys have done a, a great job for us. Um, you know, a majority of our team is, is younger, so uh, they make the transition easy and, um, you know, we're, we're feeling at home, so. How much does the, the family dynamic kind of make this locker room unique? Yeah, I mean, having three sets of brothers definitely brings a little bit of a different dynamic um, right off the bat, especially with, uh, with some of the new guys, the freshmen, um, seeing how they interact with each other, how we inter interact with, with each other um, is definitely special to this group. Um, I think those interactions, they, they've helped bring the rest of this group together, and, and we, all, we all act like brothers. We're all taking shots at each other no matter, no matter what it is. Um, like you got Chewy behind the mic right now, or behind the camera, staring us down, trying to trying to make some faces. So I think all of us it brings a it brings a closeness to this group um, that I haven't experienced before. Um, and this dynamic is very special um, because of the, the because of the family dynamic, but also because of the the personalities we have in this group and the relationships we're able to to kind of carve out um, early this year. Let's start from, from day one. Where, where did you guys' hockey journey begin together? Yeah, uh, I think, well, I know in Chicago, uh, we grew up there playing uh, hockey. You know, we have two younger brothers, and uh, we're always, you know, competing, playing mini sticks in the basement and all that stuff. And, you know, we knew we always had big dreams of playing, uh, you know, college hockey and professional hockey, and, you know, we kind of ended up here. What's, uh, what was the dynamic like between you guys growing up? I mean, were you guys always on the same team looking out for each other or was uh, were you guys like roughing it up with each other? <laughs> no, we always were on different teams, all like all, all four of us. You know, we never like played together until this year. Like we finally pulled a full season together. We played spring tournaments here and there together, but those were just a few games. So it was like nothing crazy, but we've always watched each other's games all the time though. And we're always there, always in the same tournaments, just different age groups. How, uh, how close are you two? Pretty close, so he's close. Yeah, very close. Close as you can be without being too close. <laughs> how, uh, how much brotherly love is in this locker room? Yeah, uh, there's a ton. You know, obviously, three sets of brothers, but, you know, all our guys here, we're all brothers, and, you know, we all care for each other, and, you know, it's nice, you know, when we, when me and Quinn come here, we're actually brothers, but, you know, everyone in here is brothers, so it's, uh, it's nice. What's it like just between the groups of brothers? I mean, like, have you, have you guys kind of formed a brotherhood within the brotherhood <laughs> uh i mean you know not 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 too much i think it's just really cool that uh bu you know has this and like you know gives brothers the opportunity to do this i mean you know not often you get to play with your brothers but you know on top of that having three sets of brothers that's pretty rare and uh you know it's really cool because we got you know two other okay uh <laughs> sets of brothers <laughs> How, how has that impacted just the dynamic in the locker room, you think? It makes it more comfortable for everybody to come in and just everyone, you know a face every day from the start, and then as we went on through the season, now everybody knows each other. So it's just, I think it helped a lot, just everyone getting to know each other, everyone making different friends, and just, yeah, help a lot with everybody being good to each other. What would that mean for the family to, you know, finish off the national championship here this year? Yeah, uh, obviously it's what you work for all year, and I think... You know, we got a really special group here and uh you know it just mean a lot to you know everyone every everyone here